can you tell I'm feeling myself today? Because, oh my goodness, I feel real cute and spooky. And I have windows open because it's fall. I'm so happy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, my friends, we are finally doing a Target Halloween decor and house goods haul. I'm, I'm so very excited for this. I have to say, first of all, happy fall is actually officially fall. I'm so excited for it. I have the windows open behind me. I got a Halloween, well, not really Halloween. I got a pumpkin candle going and oh, it feels amazing. I'm wearing long sleeves. Well, actually, first of all, if you guys were here last year for my, I think it was Vlogoween or maybe right before Vlogoween, I did my Target Halloween decor haul and I wore this exact same outfit. It is this purple and black mesh sleeve and this like jack-o'-lantern dress, which is so cute by the way. I got both of these from Hot Topic. I know the dress for sure is still available. I'm not sure about this, but I love it. I figured, I saw it in my closet this morning. I was like, you know, we're gonna do it. It's become a tradition. We have to wear this. This is, this is our official Target Halloween decor haul outfit. But I'm, again, I'm excited for fall and I'm excited to do this decor haul with you guys. I will say I'm really proud of myself. I did so much better this year than last year. Last year's Target Halloween haul was massive. Like actually a whole, <laughs> I bought a lot last year. So I was trying to do better this year, be a little bit more selective. I still did get a decent amount of items and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So let's just get into it. I figure I would split this up by section. So I'm gonna do all of the bullseye playground stuff first. First of all, I wanted to show you guys, I got these bats, these paper bats. They have these almost every year. I got them, I think last year as well. I have them, if you guys see some videos, you'll see them up my my staircase. I have like two packs of bats that have just stayed up there since last Halloween and I love them and they're now just part of the house. They're forever going to be there. <laughs> so I got more, I think I might actually do these over the mantle this year. But I like these, they're a dollar, you get 12 bats. It's a really, really great idea and they're different sizes too, which I think is fun. If you have kids, this is really fun for decorating as something they can kind of do, you don't really have to worry about them like breaking it too much. If they do, it was a dollar. These are always fun. Next item I got, I was really, really excited to see because it's super different. It's this little tray, the handles on this are like little snakes. Now, if you guys have been here while you know, I'm not like the biggest fan of snakes. I don't know, I think the idea of them sometimes freaks me out, but I just really loved this. I thought it was really, really, you can't really see too much. It's really beautiful, it's nice pieces, it is metal. So I was excited for it. And again, this was $5, not too bad. I thought this was really, really fun to like put candles on or maybe some like candle and some crystals or stuff around it. So I thought for, for a witchy gal, this is like perfect witchy decor like year round decor for me. The next thing I got was, you wouldn't be surprised again if you've been here a while because I love bats. I got, oh, the little bat. Look at his eyes and ears all lit up. I get the bats almost every year. I think, I don't know if they had one last year, but I know I got the one year before and I called it Guillermo. Cause I was like, Guillermo, you know, loves hanging around his vampires always want to be one one day so I just officially made him one even though he isn't one this one I think I might call Nadja because <laughs> these little ears look a lot like her little hair buns I just thought it was so cute and like the little mouth on her if you can see it's too much of the glare oh the fangs it's just the perfect little Nadja bat next thing I got is this iridescent like little candy jar thing. I actually got this to use in like Christmas time and spring summer because the iridescence, it just leans more like snow and then spring flowers to me rather than Halloween. I have like the one that's like clear and black bottom that I got last year and I keep that one out in the kitchen year round. But I thought I would use this for, you know, other decor, I mean, I know we hate talking about Christmas this early on, but when I find something that's like kind of spooky, but works for me for other seasons or for year round decor, I'm all about it. So I like this, it's glass, which is really, really awesome. This was $5. What I really loved about it 
is that the top is like super suction closed. I, I think last year I put a whole bunch of candy corn in it and it just, it looked really fun and festive. So I'll, I'm sure I'll figure out something to do with this, but I really like it. I, I love the iridescence. It's very fairy-like. You know me, you know I love a very like mystical, whimsical kind of look. So I thought this was really, really lovely. Okay, so just a couple more items for the Bullseye Playground. I got the little fairy door. I love this. It has like an actual metal knocker on it. But it's like almost like a, a darker aesthetic fairy door. I love this because I will probably, I might try and see how it does outside, like right next to my actual front door. And then I was thinking like here, you could put like little offerings on it. But otherwise, if you're not using it for something like that, um, I'm sure kids would really like this. Like even just put it against a wall in their bedroom and like they could put like little trinkets or something against it. And then they would have like their own like little door to the other worlds. <laughs> I thought it was really, really adorable. This was, I think this was five. Yeah, five as well. If you've watched a lot of my decor hunting videos, you've probably seen a majority of these items because I tried to show them as I was decor hunting what I was getting, but I figured I would do like a full video for those of you who haven't seen them, or maybe you missed a couple here and there. So this was just a roundup of all the things. I won't have any of the jewelry and stuff I've gotten um, just because I want to focus mostly on decor um, except for this next item. This is from the dollar section, oh, Bullseye Playground. And it's these socks. I always I love their socks. They're a dollar. And it's got this jack-o'-lantern face on the heel of the sock. In orange and black striped. I thought they were just cute, cheap, really fun. Like, I don't know, wear them with boots or something. I love them. I had to have it. Okay, last item from Bullseye Playground is this bottle with a gold snake on it. Again, I'm not a big snake fan, but I saw this and I was like, this is just really beautiful and really well made. The top actually does come off. It's a nice topper with plastic. I don't know if you can see, it is a pretty good suction cup on it. I'm honestly probably just gonna put some fairy lights in it and just have it be something that's lit up like tabletop decor. But again, I thought this was really lovely, really nice little snake. I don't know, emblem thing on it. And it is glass, $5. <laughs> I didn't give you saw the one where I was doing the bullseye playground walkthrough. I was like, they should just call it the $5 spot because at that point, nearly everything except for like socks was $5. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more of the housewares. First thing I'll show are these towels that I got. They're just white towels with little embroidered bats on it. And then the other towel is white with the black bats all over it. I thought these are really nice. It feels actually, the white one feels a little more absorbent than this one, but they're still decently thick. I thought they were cute. These were, were these $5? Because that'd be hilarious. I don't remember. This doesn't have it on there because these weren't from the dollar section. They were from over in like, kind of just the housewares. So like kind of near bath area. I really love these. Again, I thought it was really nice that they were, these are embroidered on there. And again, me and my bats, I had to have everything with all the bats. Next like little houseware item is this blanket. It is a spiderweb blanket. I love their blankets. I usually try and get the hide and eat blanket each year. These are $10, I believe. Yeah, $10, which isn't bad. And for me, I usually just throw them on the couch or have them aside. Anybody that comes over wants a little blanket. These are great for that. Also, my cats love to cuddle on them, so I throw it on like their little beds and stuff, and they're just really nice and cushy. I'm not mad at it for a nice, like, comfortable, cute, and soft blanket. We need all the soft things. <laughs> I did get this spiderweb ladder. Look at it. So it's this white spider webbing. They're orange spider right in the middle right there. Is this beautiful? This is a heavy piece for one. I love this. I, I love platters. I'm kind of have a problem with getting too many platters because I'm like, all the parties, I could have the full spread of everything. And then I never have any sort of parties and I just have platters. <laughs> but I like to, especially if it's something where like for Craig and I for dinner, sometimes I will make stuff and put it on platters and like I bring it out to our little table and we eat off of platters. And it just feels like extra fancy without really doing much extra work. So I really like it. Again, this one was beautiful. I was so happy to have found it. I didn't think I would. There was only one at the store that I went to. This was, I think this was $20, which honestly, again, for a nice, thick, decently big stoneware platter, I am not mad at that. I feel like my new phrase is, I'm not mad at it. I think I say it at nearly everything that I'm like, that's a pretty good deal. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Let me go to the other two kitchen things 
And then we'll get to something I'm really excited to share with you all. These are the silicone ice cube trays and I'll scoot up. It's skulls. It makes little skulls. So I think it's 3D because it like in the front here, it kind of bulges out and it's like, I don't know, the back of the skull. And this is like the face of it. So this is cool. They'll make like 3D ice cubes and it'll make four of them, but they're pretty big. And it shows them being used for like, I don't know, probably like a little bourbon drink or something. Just if you were drinking it on the rocks or whatever. This was $10. Honestly, it's pretty comparable. I remember looking on Amazon for something similar for a friend's birthday and they were about this much. And these feel like pretty good, nice, thick silicone. So I'm, I'm excited to give them a try. If you saw my Killstar haul from this week as well, I got Trey that does uh, spider webs and little spiders. So I'm just gonna make a whole spooky ice cube situation <laughs> and all my iced coffees in the morning are just gonna be extra spooky. I'm really excited for this. I hope these turn out well. I think they will. Definitely, I think I'm gonna maybe sometime for Blogoween, I'll do something where I do something with these. Keep an eye out for me using this. Last kid tomorrow thing, I actually got this in the back near all the Halloween decor. It's part of their hide and eek section. And it's this glass food container with bats on it. Can you tell? Is there a bit of theme that this girl loves her bats? <laughs> but these are really nice. They come out with a lot of these each year, different designs, and I always end up missing out on them. I feel like I end up finding them too late and then they're already sold out. So I was really happy to have found one this year. Hey, and for it to have been bats, I don't remember. I think this was maybe $6, which isn't bad for a decent size. Again, it is glass. I think that's really nice. I'm excited to have this little extra spookiness to, to my spooky kitchen. I thought this was really fun. Let me make some space, bring in our special guest. I'm super excited for you guys to see. All right, so I was trying to put the hat on them, but it just keeps falling off. So, ta-da! I got the little skeleton man. A little scarf on him. I thought, oh, look at his ribs. I thought they were matching, actually. The scarf is like black and silver and purple. I'm black, purple, and orange. Friend, we are just vibing. Everyone, I wanted you to meet Ichabod. I honestly just really love that name and I love Sleepy Hollow. I thought it was a really cute, kind of quirky things on, he's going after the Headless Horseman. This is almost just the Headless Horseman, but with his head. And he doesn't want to stay in his seat. Sir, can you cooperate? Let's cushion, let's cushion your joints. Maybe you just need a little extra cushion. I feel that most days, my joints are just crying out for a pillow. He's just the, the leaning tower of Ichabod. Hey, all right, there we go, Ichabod. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> you see him okay? All right, well, obviously, this is the next thing. I bought the skeleton pumpkin guy. I was so excited to have found him. I was out one morning actually looking for something else and he was there and I was like, well, this is destiny because I didn't think I was gonna find him. So I brought you home. We're now besties. It's a whole thing. Okay, next thing I got, let's just get into, the rest of this is basically just all decor. Got one of the little metal houses. I don't know if you can see, there we go. The little metal houses. I got the one that to me very much resembles a church. If you saw the decor hunt where I got this, I said that uh, Craig and I got married in a church in like this like old Southern 1800s village. And the church was this tiny little white church. Reminding me of this, it literally held like max, I think was 65 people. I'll put a picture right here. I love that church. I think it was so cute and really beautiful. And it was just very like, I don't know, quaint and lovely. And so I saw this, I'm normally not one for these kind of metal houses. I think they're fun, they're just not typically my style. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. This looks so much like that church. And also I really, really love these like cathedral type windows. Cause I can just imagine this being stained glass, which I love stained glass so much. I thought this was really cute. This was, this was $10, it's not bad. It does light up. Ooh, let's see if I can pull it out. Let's see how bright these get. Okay. So, oh, that's actually really cool kind of airy. It's very 1800s. It's like your time, Ichabod. What do you think? Would this be haunted? Would the Headless Horseman go here? I think he might. Might be looking for heads to snatch in the church. <laughs> this is fun though, I like it. Next thing I got is this jack-o'-lantern which requires lights and I'm not doing all that right now. I got this tiny little jack-o'-lantern that 
vampire teeth. Oh my gosh, just so cute. I got a bunch of these small jack o lanterns last year, but I didn't see one that was like vampire fangs. So I thought this was really cool. These are, I think, like $5. This one isn't bad. They're battery operated, which is really nice. Makes decorating a little bit easier. Super well worth it, especially if it's a design you really like. Next, you guys know how I was excited to find this. Oh, I got the little cat on the jack o lantern. Let's see you light up, darling. Oh, look at it. It is just so precious. Ichabod likes it too. Don't you, Ichabod? Yeah. I'm a mess. You give me around cute Halloween stuff. I just kind of go crazy and I get super excited. I turn into a child. Well, I'm always honestly a child, but my inner child really comes out. So, <laughs> so like lovely kind of retro it makes me so happy you know sometimes you see stuff and it's like oh that's fun looking or oh that's cool but this is just really like precious it makes me think of like a kid's halloween movie i mean binks would have never gone for this bow situation but nonetheless it just brings out this just like inner joy in me that oh i absolutely am here for how could you not be joyful around this beautiful little thing my cats are just staring at me like, mother, you're not replacing us. <laughs> I'm not children, I promise. I'm just bringing extra joy into the house. This last bowl mold, oh my God, this is heavy. It's not really a blow mold, it's kind of blow mold. I can't believe I found this. Honestly, before this, I kind of decided I wasn't gonna be buying any more Halloween from Target, like I found everything I wanted, but then I went in a different day looking for, oh, actually looking for the nails. I got these nails at Target. I got these nails at Target. They're the, they're like these impressed nails. And I just got a couple different varieties. And this has little ghosts. And this one's glittery. You can't see it too, too much. It's beautiful glitter. Bats and moons and ghosties. And the like the white bits on all of these glow in the dark. But they, these were all back there in the Halloween section, like near the costumes. So I was going in looking for a bunch of nails. So I got like several pairs of the impressed nails, which check target i think those are on sale now i think they said all nail stuff is like 20 percent off i know i think i saw on the app that these are 20 percent off now pretty sure so check that out i went in there looking for these and then i found this is like the piece de resistance for me well okay so ichabod honestly it's you i promise you are my love but also this is my second love <laughs> because for one there's a little bat his eyes glow spider webs on it with purple and beware and then the spider comes down and it's like a tombstone i've been keeping this um between these two tables back here like at the base on the floor and so like i have all the lights on all the tables and then this is like in the corner and it's just so so cute i'm super impressed by this i don't remember how much this was maybe 20 maybe a little bit more but honestly it's so worth it the button on it is in the back, so it is battery operated, which I think is really, again, really, really nice. Makes things super easy for decorating. I love this. I'm, I am beyond ecstatic that I found this. When I saw their Halloween release, like the hide and eek on the website in like, I don't know, August or something. And I was like, oh, the bad tombstone, the Betsy Betsy. I can't believe I actually found it. I'm so happy. <laughs> I found this little bird. It's a Halloween witch bird, bird witch. I think this is so precious. This seems very vintage. I feel like this is something like my great grandmother, she, oh my gosh, I loved her. And she would always, she was a knickknack kind of gal. Like she had lots of like little cat trinkets and birds and like song catchers. I think that's where I get it from. My love of all of those is from her. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, Granny would have loved this. And I just kind of got it because I love witches, I love birds, and it just makes me think of her. I think it's really, really precious and sweet. This was $5, which is maybe a little much for something small, but it is like ceramic. I don't know, for me, it's a, it evokes such a really lovely memory, so I, I, I thought it seemed very necessary for me to have it. Next thing is the boo bells. Oh, darling, I, I, I got you all squished, don't I? Look at these. They're so precious. And the flowers with the teeth. And then I just really, really love the pot it's in. It's like delicate kind of filigree almost. The skulls and all the vines. It's so, so pretty. Truthfully, I may not even have it out during Halloween. I kind of bought this thinking this would be another really, really pretty spring flower. I had 
have one. It's like black flowers with like like a pinkish purple iris and like you know, black pupil. But I got that one. I have that one out for like my spring and summer decor. And so I was thinking of adding this to it because it just looks really lovely with the lavender. Um, it just feels very spring, summer, light. Um, and just so cute. And they're little ghosties. It's precious. So I'm happy I found this one. This was $20, which honestly, I'm not mad at for these because they're really a fun like statement piece. And they're like, I don't know, I enjoy kind of collecting different ones each year and finding ones that really fit my aesthetic. Some of the others I think are really cool, but they just don't always go with kind of how I decorate. So I thought this was a really cool like spring summer piece for me. I'm always looking for stuff in Halloween time that I can then use year round or just even in different parts of the year. So I thought this was cool for that. I already have some of my spring decor done. <laughs> okay, next thing is this metal pail. This is kind of like, I don't know, stainless steel kind of bin. And it's got this spider web style on it. It's black with like silver spider webs. I thought this was really, really beautiful. This, I love these kind of things because I keep them around the house, like some to throw the cat's toys in. Um, I have a cauldron last year I got and I use it for blankets. I was thinking of actually using this for blankets as well. But I love these kind of things. They're good to like keep around the house to hold stuff like that. Kids. This could be a fun little like toy bucket for them. Also, I'm sure you could use it like actually for like a party, put a whole bunch of ice in it and then you could put like drinks in it and have it on a table as like your drink bucket. I think it's cool. There's a ton of different uses for this. This was like, it's $10, which is not bad. And again, for me, it's something, I'm just turning it around. <laughs> again, for me, this is something I could use year round. I think it's really cool. The spider webbing on it was just so delicate and so beautiful. Next to last thing is the cauldron with black cutouts. Now this is actually a planter. I'm super excited to find this because it's a planter. There's a hole in it. There's actually a little thing for draining, which I think is really, really like actually practical. So many times you find planters, there's no draining hole in it. And it's like, okay, well that will only work for certain plants, but I like to have ones that actually have a draining hole because I can be a little bit, I can monitor the water on my plants a little bit better that way. I make sure they're not overwatered and that kind of thing. But I thought this was really cool. It is nice metal with these beautiful, there's three, where'd you go? <laughs> three different back cutouts. I think it's just really cool, different. You don't see a ton of cauldrons with like bat things on it. So I thought this was really fun and different. I'm thinking this was maybe like $20. I can't remember, I already took the sticker off on this one, but I love it. I think it's really, really fun. I can't wait to put some plant seeds in it. Might even do like some, some mums or something for the fall. That might actually be a fun vlogoween thing. Maybe we'll plant some mums, put them out on my front porch. Okay, last item. I gotta figure out how to show this to you guys. Give me a second. Last thing is this neon bat sign. You guys, <laughs> love bats. And I'm so excited to have found this. This was one of the first things that was like, I gotta find it. And I love it. My initial plan was to put it in my stairwell where, like I said, I have all those paper bats, but um, I don't have a plug there. And this is a plug-in item. I will say though, the plug is quite long, which helps. So I actually have it, I'm gonna have it on the wall near my whole like movie corner. I have like my trick or treat stuff. I have my Beetlejuice stuff. I think I'm just gonna hang this bat underneath the window there. I think it fits really, really well. And it's a nice, that spot looks so blank. It needs something in it. And this is just such, such a fun spot or fun thing for it but I love how it makes it look like the wings are flapping we're a flapping and a flying and it's so precious like hopefully I'm not blind to you guys but this is really nice I just really love this I threw away the box for this I think this was $20 maybe $25 but I knew I had to have it because again I have so much bad stuff and this is a fun year-round piece for me I cannot wait to have it going, especially in like the winter. I get really bad seasonal effect disorder. And so like, I love having on all the lights possible. And like something like this is just really nice and like precious and like will brighten my spirits. So <laughs> I'm so excited. What do you think Ichabod? Oh my gosh. Ichabod, what if you could wear it as a necklace? You're, oh my gosh, it's a whole vibe. I love it so, so much. 
Okay, let me unplug this real quick. One thing I actually just forgot, I didn't show you guys. This was one of the reasons why I was in Target that one morning. I found half of the stuff because I was searching for this. Um, actually, let me take this out. I'll keep it in. I just have this like battery operated candle in it, but it is this skull candle holder. I love this so much, especially when there's a candle behind it lit up. So it is big enough to hold a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. So if you're wanting like a different kind of candle holder that's not $50 or something, this is a great option. I think this was $20. It's a really nice ceramic material. And again, with a candle or something in it, it just looks so cool lit up. So I've just been keeping this on the shelf back here behind me. I will probably end up using it for like real candles, but for now, I really like it with this little other candle in it. So you can kind of see. See, didn't it look fun on the shelf back there? I don't know. I think that looks really cool. Hey, is that everything it could buy? Did we cover everything? So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I do try and put out at least two videos a week when my body cooperates and the chronic illness isn't flaring. <laughs> I usually try to put out two videos, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Also, I do have a Patreon in case you guys are interested in supporting the channel further. I will leave a link in the description. It'll show you all the different tiers, the different options, the way to support the channel, and what you get for being part of those tiers. Everyone who's a Patreon does get the videos early on. I do also am planning to do a couple live videos and videos especially for them. You do also get a discount code to my Etsy. So if you're interested in supporting the channel further, I'll leave that link below and I would highly appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate all the love and I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.